Hi, welcome to my video on polynomials, uh, the degree and the number of factors in relation to the degree. The number of factors of a polynomial in terms of x. So, examples, we have a name of a polynomial as a constant, the degree of a constant is zero. Examples of a constant would be a number 4, or we could have a negative 6, or we could have 1 half. They're constants, and the number of factors in terms of x is none, 0. A linear, linear is, has a degree of 1, and examples of a linear is x plus 2. We could have uh, 3x minus 4 or we could have 2 times x plus 7. Notice the 2. The power of x is 1. The power of x is 1. Even though that 2 is there, it's as a constant. So, but the polynomial, that's a binomial with a power of 1. So, and the number of factors of a linear polynomial is 1. Because the highest exponent of a linear is 1. Quadratics, the degree of a quadratic is 2. Examples is x squared plus 3x plus 2. x squared minus 4. Um, x times x plus 8. Notice when you multiply these two, you get x squared plus 8x and the degree, highest degree of these polynomials is 2. The degree is the highest power of any one term. You only hit. The degree of this term is 2. Degree of this term is 1. Degree of a constant is 0. So the degree of this polynomial is 2. And the number of factors is 2. Because we can factor this one as the difference of two squares as x plus 2, x minus 2. There's two factors. There's two factors. A cubic, cubic is 3. Examples of a cubic is x cubed plus 4x squared plus 8x. That's a cubic, the highest degree. Degree of this term is 1, degree of this term is 2, degree of this term is 3. Degree of the polynomial is the highest one of any one term is 3. And the number of factors, well, let's just give an example. x times x plus 1 times x minus 4. That's a linear, degree 1. That's a linear, x plus 1 is linear. And that's a linear, so if you put them all together and you multiply all them out, expand it, you'll get an x cubed. So we could have x minus 2 cubed. Notice if you cube this out, the leading uh, term will be x cubed. So the number of factors of a cubic is 3 linear factors. Notice all the factors are linear. Even in this quadratic, it's made up of two linear factors. Quartix is degree 4. Examples of a quartic is x to the 4. You could have x to the 4 minus 1. You could have x to the 4 plus 3x cubed plus 2. And again, the highest degree here is 4. Or you could have x times x minus 1 times x minus 2 times x plus 3. Again, that's a linear, degree 1. That's a linear factor. X minus 1 is linear. This is linear. X minus 2 is linear because the degree is 1. X plus 3 is linear. So you have 1, 2, 3, 4. So the number of factors is 4. Quintix is, deg is 5. Degree of 5. An example would be X to the 5 plus 8X cubed plus X minus 1. So the highest degree of this cubic quintix is 5. We could have x to the 4 times x minus 2. 
there's four here and one here that's five in total or we could have x cubed times x minus one times x plus six again three here one here one there so that's five factors in a quantity so that's just reviewing because i'm going to in other videos i'm going to go over uh, factoring a cubic and a quartic and etc and th th these will also be discussed in other chapters in the math you do in the future practice means uh, work out these and see if you can fill them all in pause your video do one at a time and check back the degree of this polynomial is 2 the highest degree that's a 2 that's a 1 and that's, a, that's a x to the 0 so the degree is 2 the name is a quadratic Q U A D R A T I C, and if we factor this one it's a quadratic let's see the because that's a 1 then the product is negative 4 and the sum is 3 so we have an x and an x the product is negative 4 to give me a 3 that would be a 4 times 1 and the because the product is negative I got a plus and a minus so it's a plus 4 minus 1 number of factors is 2 x plus 4 is one linear factor x minus 1 is the other linear factor so the degree and the number of factors correlate one to one and the degree of this one is a 5 the name of this one is a quantity Q U I N T I C and if we factor this one we get x to 4 notice the x is common the lowest power is 4 and we take x to the 5 divided by x to the 4 we get next x to the 4 divided by x to the 4 is 1 so we have 4 and 1 number of factors even though there's only 2 here really if you think about it that x could be x and x and x and x and x plus 1 x plus 1 right there so notice x to the 4 is x times x times x times x notice that all of these are the same so if that was a 2, it would be 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. So there's 5 number of factors and the quantity is 5. And the degree of this one is, that's a 1 and that's a 0 because that's x to the 0. Degree is 1, that's a linear. And the factor of this one is 6, is the GCF. 6x six divided by 6 is x. Negative 12 divided by 6 is negative 2. And there's only one factor in terms of x is x minus 2. So that linear, there's only one. Even though the 6 is a constant, but there's still only one factor there in terms of x. There are two factors, but this is a constant factor. And this is the linear factor, so there's only one linear factor. 7, degree is 0, because 7 is, seven is understood to be 7x to the 0. And it's, this is a constant polynomial, and it can't factor the 7. 7 is a 7. Number of, the number of factors is 0. Number of factors in terms of x now. Remember, the number of factors is in terms of x. 7 is a, is a number, but there's no x's there, so there's no factors in terms of x. The degree of this one is 4 and 3. The degree is 4. So that means it's, if degree is 4, it's quartic, Q-U-A-R-T-I-C. And we want to factor this one. We take a 2, the GCF, X cubed. 2 is a numerical factor common, and X cubed, and 2x to the 4 divided by 2x cubed is x, and 2x cubed into 10x cubed is a plus 5. So there's 3 there, and 1 there, and so that's 4 factors all together. Remember now, x is there 3 times, x times x times x, and x plus 5 is the other factor. 
the degree of this one is 3 and a 2 and a 1. The highest degree is 3, so it's a cubic. Oh, I should have a cubic. should be over here for the name. And the degree is 3. Highest degree is 3. And if we factor this one, well, let's see. This started here. X is the GCF, so we take X out. So X cubed divided by X is X squared. 6x squared divided by x is 6x, 5x divided by x is 5, and notice this is a, um, by no, a trinomial, and let's see, we've got an x squared, so x squared is made up of x times x, the factors of 5 to give me 6, it must be 5 and 1, and since the product is positive, I must have two of the middle signs, so two pluses. Five is the product, six is the sum, so the factors are plus five, plus one. So there's three of them, one, x, x plus five, x plus one. And there's three factors. Number seven, uh, the degree is two, and it's a quadratic, Q-U-A-D-R-A-T-I-C, and factor this one. Notice it's, it's a quadratic, so we'll use two brackets. And notice we the one in front, the a is one, so it's easy, this should be easy to factor. x squared comes from x times x. Uh, notice that, just to mention, I have, notice there's no middle term. Notice there's no x in here. Since there's no x, that means x is zero x, zero times x is zero. That means that the product is negative 25 and the sum is 0. So we say this is the difference of two squares. So it's 5 and 5 with a plus and a minus. Because when you add these two numbers, you get a 0 in the middle. So that's the difference of two squares. x plus 5 times x minus 5. And there's two factors. 4x, the degree is 1. It's a linear. And... 4 times x is the only factor, and there's one factor in terms of x, just x, 4 times x. And number 8, the degree of this one is a 5, and degree is 5 is a quintic, Q-U-I-N-T-I-C. And we want to factor this one, we take the 8 out, which is common, and x cubed, and that gives me x squared minus 1. So, if we keep going, notice we got x cubed minus 1, so that's an x plus 1, x minus 1, because that's the difference of two squares. So we have uh, degree is 5 of quintic. We got three factors the same here, x three times. The linear is x plus 1, another linear x minus 1, so there's five factors. Again, the degree of a polynomial is directly related, equal to the number of factors. The number of factors that a polynomial has is equal to the degree. And x squared and x, the degree is 2, highest degree is 2. That's a quadratic, Q-U-A-D-R-A-T-I-C. And we want to factor this. x is the GCF. Take x out. x squared divided by x is x. 9x divided by x is plus 9. One factor is x, the other factor is x plus 9, so there's two factors. Degree is 2, two factors. And number 11, we have degree of, we have a 3, a 2, and a 1. The highest degree is 3, and that's a cubic. And let's factor this one. So there's x outside of, the GCF is x. x cubed divided by x is x squared. 6x squared divided by x is 6x. 9x divided by x is 9, and we have a quadratic, so let's factor that quadratic. a is 1, so x squared is x and x, and the product is positive, so we have 2 in the middle sign, so we have 2 pluses. What's the factors of 9? 9 times 1, or 3 times 3, which pair of factors give me a 6, 3 and 3. Multiply, you get 9, add, you get 6, 
and notice this is x times x plus 3 squared. So there's x, x plus 3, x plus 3 twice. So one is squared because you got the two of them. So you have three factors. And the final factorization is this. And you have three factors. So that's relating the number of factors to the degree. And that's important because when you do the math in the other units up in grade 11 and 12 in calculus, it's important to know that the number, the degree of a polynomial is related to the number of factors. If you like my video, click the like button. Click the subscribe button if you're not a subscriber. Click the notification bell and write a comment on my video if you wish. And visit my math website, mathfullyexplained.com. And there you got a section on me, talks about my degrees and teaching experience. A section on video, talks about the strategies you're going to use to help you learn your math. And the content section has the units and the number of videos on those units. That's on my YouTube channel. And what's in black font is online right now. And what's in red font will be there in the near future. Thank you very much for viewing my video. Bye-bye.